Hey guys, today we are going to open up this battle box. This is mission 55. That is themeless as they all are now. And uh, we are out here in the woods behind my house. And this is my uh, bench, my homemade bench here that I made. Sweet. All right, so we're going to open this up and see what we got in the box. Hopefully it's some... Uh, cool gear. I've been, I was really happy with last month's box. Here we go. We got the mission card with all the stuff in there. We got a 293.83 total value for the entire box, and it's 149. This is the Pro, Pro, uh, Pro Plus, and then there's the verbiage on the back, which I usually don't read, actually, but uh, probably should. Anyways, all right, we'll set that aside, and uh, there is all the gear. All right, so first thing, we have the magnet gear and microfiber towel set. That looks like this thing right here. So, uh, pretty cool packaging. Pull these guys off, and uh, nice big nice big towel look at that man just keeps going it looks like uh you know it's probably i don't want to open it all the way up because it'll be hard to fold it back up well i guess not i can open it up this looks like uh a bath towel size or something you know huge so <laughs> yeah that is gigantic so awesome i like that so, uh, yeah, use that for camping, backpacking, whatever. And uh, it all folds up here back to basically the size we were at before. And uh, just kind of roll this guy up, I guess. And then it goes in this little pouch here. So let's see how, let's see if I can get it back, back in there again. I didn't get it folded super tight here but hopefully that's good enough that it'll go in this zippy pouch here oh yeah easy easy peasy cool I like that I will use that for sure so that is definitely a like item okay so we got uh, gator eyes mini LED lights Ooh, where is that at? Oh, and there's my straps. I should have put that back on. Okay, I'll do that later. Let's see. It's these. So there you go. Got some little tiny flashlights. Super easy packaging to open up, which is nice. And then, I wonder if that's uh, magnetic. We'll try it here on the metal. Whoops, bumped the camera. Mm, I don't know. I don't think that's... That might be magnetic. I think that is magnetic. And then you got a clip. So you can clip it onto stuff. Clip that onto my watch. And then how do we turn it on? Oh, is that it? Yep. So there we go. Cool. Clip that onto the bill of your hat or clip it on wherever. Those are pretty nice. Pretty bright. It's daylight out so it's kind of hard to tell but yeah cool you got uh, five of those in there nice you can always use little flashlights actually the kids will probably like that and have fun with those cool that is another item I like um, work sharp mini sh sharpener and tools oh, I guess we should have been going through it so the towel is 20 bucks the five lights are 10 bucks that's Pretty reasonable. Uh, Alright, the sharpener is 10 bucks. So that is this. Now, if you guys watched my knife sharpening video, um, yeah, there you go. Uh, I, you know, I like work sharp items. Um, they, I think their sharpeners are super effective, and uh, yeah, I use them all the time. So there you go. Step one 15 strokes on the diamond side. Step two 15 strokes on the ceramic side and repeat until it's sharp so super easy 
And let's see. Should have brought a dull knife out here. I didn't know I was getting a sharpener. Oh well. Let me get this dang thing open. <clears throat> there we go. Cool. We got a little lanyard. So diamond side, ceramic side, and then, ooh, cool. We even have little bits, little Torx bits, it looks like. So that'll be nice for repairing or disassembling your knife. Looks like we got three different sizes. Looks like they go right there. So you can twist it. And here's my knife. That should be the pivot size. Nope. Maybe uh, one too big. Let's try this one. Yeah, there we go. So you can tighten your pivot in. And then these are probably the same size. Yeah. This is the Kaiser C line. I still love this knife. Came in a monthly uh, knife club box. Still one of my favorite ones. So this, this is super cool. See, I mean, you can just drag it across here, you know, 15 times that way and then 15 times and go both, both directions. So this knife is still very sharp, so I don't need to sharpen it. But when I do, that is cool because that I can carry in my pocket. And that's way smaller than the, the field sharpener that I use when I backpack now. Probably still use that, but this will be nice just to carry around every day. So, three awesome items that I like so far. Okay, this next one, $10 for a survival tips. Okay, this one, I don't like items like this. I mean, it's, <laughs> I guess it's okay to have a little survival guide, but, um, Man, I don't know. I, I, I think that these items are just kind of kind of crappy items. I mean, get a book, you know? I mean, it, it's nice to have some, uh, some tips, I guess, that you can carry with you, but I would not pay $10 for a guide. I'm not even going to open this up because I probably won't even use this. Um, yeah, I mean... I'm sure it's got a lot of good information in it, but uh, $10, I don't think so. I don't think I'll use that for 10 bucks. I don't think it's worth it for 10 bucks. <clears throat> okay, that is it for the basic box. We're gonna move on to advanced, and we have the Lord and Field Camp Strike Handmade Fire Starting Kit for almost 40 bucks, 39 bucks. Boy, I hope it's, uh, I hope it's a good one. Uh, that must be this. So you do have a pretty cool little box. And then how does it open? Let's see. Yeah, looks like you just slide it, slide it out with this thumb hole here. There we are. So the packaging is cool. I do like Lord and Field packaging. They always wrap stuff in uh, the wax paper, which is nice. So looks like a looks like a striker. I bet there, this other thing in here is probably a ferro rod. Oh yeah, and we got some cotton. I wonder if it's got. Uh, any alcohol on it. Nope, just dry cotton. Okay, so you got a little fire starter. I'll probably put some Vaseline on that just to make it very flammable. But that is pretty cool. I like that. That is a huge, thick ferro rod. And then this thing is 90 degree angles all the way around. So I guess you can strike it this way. You can strike it this way or this way. Any way you want. You got lots of edge there. So that's pretty cool. The um, handles look like micarta. Um, yeah, I think that's micarta. Those look very attractive. Very smooth. So, yeah, I like that a lot. And the box is even cooler. So, 
40 bucks? Man, I don't think so. Um, seems a little overpriced for what you get, but um, still dang cool. So, yeah, we'll have to we'll have to try this out. Looks like we got a little fire starter putty here. Is that part of this? Uh, I don't see it listed as another thing. So, um, yeah, we do have some fire starting stuff. So let's see if we can start ourselves a fire. Let's let's open this up real quick. Yeah, so we got some. That must be flammable. So we will try this stuff out. Okay, we got our pyro putty on there. And we're gonna scrape off some of this. See if it'll throw some sparks. There we go. Very easy. There it goes. Put some uh, cinder on there. Cool. And it's still burning. Still burning. There we go. Got ourselves a far. Don't we, Allie? Yep, we'll put that on here in a minute. Let's let it get on. Get going a little bit more. Okay, so there is our battle box created fire. Cool, it works. Okay, so Allie's gonna go back inside and get some marshmallows so we can toast them, but yeah, that fire kit, pretty freaking awesome. Like it, so cool. All right, works. Um, what else we got here? We got the Ion Boot, the Wagon Tech Ion Boost Slim. So, yeah, it is, so I, I have, um, I have these reserve battery chargers basically for your phone, they're about that, about that size, but this one looks like it'll jump your car, which is crazy, definitely don't have anything like that, so there is the charger. fire roaring over there so yeah there it is chart <laughs> car charge port well car jumping so there's got to be a little plug that goes in there that would be how you charge your USB devices like your phone and then that's how you charge the battery pack a little micro USB so pretty standard on that on the connection bit and then in here we gotta have our plugs. Looks like uh, instructions won't need that. We got our micro USB. Ooh, we even got a car charger. And then jump your car. Super cool. Um, looks like it's even got lights on there to tell you how charged it is. I wonder if it'll tell me now uh, on. So, almost all the way full. Nice. Okay. So, um, I'm not going to try that because I don't have a car that needs jumped. But uh, I'll let you know later if that ends up working. So that's the only thing in, that, in the advanced box. That's 70, 75 bucks. Um, that might be worth it if it actually works. And then we got our knife of the month. And that is... A cost to us of 50, they have a value of 130 bucks on it. This is the Lord and Field. Well, you can read it there. I don't need to go through all that. I don't even know how to pronounce that actually. So, move the battle box out of the way. Again, Lord and Field packaging is super cool. Oh, I always got the marshmallows. All right, so more wax paper. 
more wax paper. Let's see what we got here. Allie, you want to come look at this knife? So I have seen these before, um, but I think I think these are a Battle Box exclusive. So we should be able to, yeah, there we go, pull that apart. So we got ourselves a knife, which is not in there super well. I guess you have to you have to turn that back. <coughs> no. Huh. I don't like that it moves. I would think that collar would rotate. Yeah, so I can't see any way to rotate that collar around to make that, I mean, that's super loose in there. I'm not thrilled about that. I, if, if this collar rotated around so that gap wasn't there, it couldn't move like that. But, um, yeah, it doesn't doesn't budge. But anyways, the idea here is you have a fork and a knife so you can eat or you can you know, cut meat or whatever you're going to do you for meals. You can put on it. Well, if this was a little longer maybe. Um, the handles look like micarta and then this is, looks like aluminum. Now this does rotate and then this pulls out, and then you can rotate it back. And when, it, when it's like that, then it's stable. And basically, this is a big fillet knife. You can see it does bend and go back to go back to straight. So that is like a big fish fillet knife. And then I think you can put this back in and click that in. Thusly, and then you got a big, big old handle on it, two-handed saw. I don't know why you'd want want it like that, but you, you got the option. I'd probably use it more like that. But uh, anyways, what do you think of that, Allie? Is I that like a, it. You like that knife? Mm -hmm. You can fold it back that way, close that, and then that goes down in that little slot, and we got that like that. So it looks like a little baton. Cool. All right, guys, that is the battle box for this month. Uh, in general, I like everything. The knife is a little quirky, but it's different. It's something I don't have, so I'm I'm cool with that. It is called the uh, Fortel Fisherman, so it is a fishing knife, and uh, cool. Yeah, definitely don't have one like this, so. Anyways, thanks for watching. Allie and I are going to eat some marshmallows. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah.